okay so these are the various categories of the task which you will do as part of the css okay so let's try to understand what are each of these categories of tasks and then later on we'll understand how to think in css okay so the first thing is css box model okay so let us suppose you want to add uh, the space like if you see these two boxes right there is certain space between these two boxes so how do you give that particular space if you have to give it in css how did you do that okay and if you see uh, the the uh, text inside right there is a space also between uh, the border of this box uh, to the text so how do you give that space if you have to do that in css that will be part of this CX css box model okay so how do you give space between two different elements or 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 how do you give uh, the space within that element uh, like within this border how do you uh, give certain space okay so uh, this is all about spacing borders and all that so that you need to understand okay then second step is positioning of elements okay the positioning of elements can be of three types uh, right one is uh, you might want to position a particular element with respect to another element like for example i have placed uh, this box here uh, right and if i want to place the next box and how do i want to place it i want to just place it below this box so wherever this box has ended i just want to place this box below that box okay so this is one kind of positioning okay so uh, then what is another kind of positioning okay so let us suppose uh, uh, this is our body this this is our entire body so in that all the elements i want to uh, put one after another but one element which is this element i always want to put it here okay so irrespective of the positioning of these elements so all these elements are positioned one after another but irrespective of all this po uh, position of all these elements in this particular body i want to place this element with respect to not these elements but with respect to body okay with respect to this parent element which is containing this element okay i want to position this element with respect to the parent element which is containing this particular element so that is one kind of positioning so what could be another kind of positioning okay now if i scroll this elements right so everything is scrolling up okay so i might want uh, this element not to be scrolled like whatever i do uh, if i scroll up or down irrespective of the position of the page this element should always remain here at this position so now i am trying to position this particular element not with respect to the parent containing div but i am trying to position this element with respect to the browser uh, so this is one kind of positioning so all these are related to how do you position a particular element okay so this is all about positioning okay so then comes to the alignment so alignment is all about like if you see this text right this text is center aligned right both horizontally and vertically okay so this is text alignment and other things could be how do you align the list like for example if you have the bullet points right uh, the bullet points are generally aligned one below another but what if you have to align them one after another like in a horizontal way those bulleted points how do you do that okay so the alignment could be with respect to text or alignment could be you might want to align the list of elements or it could be the content like if you have a, a big uh, text or something so or if you have a text or image so how do you align them okay and it might be a simple div tags uh, uh, so what is a div tag which we'll see later so you just want to position two elements uh, uh, align two elements uh, either alignment could be either towards the left or towards the center or towards the right or it could be aligning the elements horizontally or aligning the elements vertically so these are the possible al alignments 
okay so whenever it comes to alignment how do you align the things using css so this is one of the subject which we need to know okay so then we might have to in certain instance display a certain object uh, display a certain element like for example uh, i might want to display a, a particular element in the desktop but when i come when i open the same website in the tablet or mobile i want to hide that element so how do i show or hide a particular element based on the uh, based on the device or any other things uh, any other events how do i do that that is one subject which we need to know okay so then we need to know about uh, pseudo elements like for example i want to place an element before or after another element okay i don't want to do any html changes i just want to insert a certain uh, element before or after a particular element how do i do that how do i know in css if a particular person has uh, scrolled over that particular element so how do i know if uh, uh, that element is in focus or how do i know if if that element is being clicked okay in css so all those things are part of pseudo elements okay so that is one subject which you need to understand and then comes the stacking of elements like for example if you see this uh, this layout until here right so how is this layout achieved okay so you have a particular uh, section on on towards the left okay this is one division which you have towards the left and then in the center you have the body okay so this is one another division you have and here on the right also you have uh, another part or another section of the page okay so all the sections are horizontally stacked right uh, this is uh, besides uh, this one and besides this one this one is there like these are horizontally stacked but if you see the elements within this body like these elements right these are vertically stacked one below another so how do you uh, uh, stack these elements either uh, one besides another horizontally or one below another vertically so that is what we need to understand okay so that will go as part of this section okay so these are the things which we need to know okay so then how do you think in css okay so this is the way if you are asked to achieve a particular design right so that design could be achieved by using any of these uh, uh, combination of any of these categories okay all you need to think is uh, is there any involvement of spacing if you you see the design uh, like you, if you if you want to uh, create uh, let us suppose this particular block right then you need to see is there any spacing which is involved then you need to see is there any positioning which is involved to achieve this particular design is there any alignment involved to achieve this particular design so you need to just check those uh, what all are involved okay so that is first step okay so once you checked all those things then you need to see just google it how to position a particular element then you will know the syntax of positioning a particular uh, element in css you will get the syntax so you can just copy paste that code and try to position as uh, as per the design what is asked Uh, right so that is the second step like first is identification of what needs to be done uh, what all co combination of uh, uh, categories of the task you need to do to achieve a particular design then you need to identify the syntax okay then you need to combine these uh, uh, properties and you achieve the design okay so the, this is the way you think in css